Hey guys, so we're working on the transmission mount today. The transmission mount and the bracketry for the mount. I have cut all of the mounts to the size that I need and now it's a matter of installing it and then tack welding it all in place or call it a strong tack. Uh, we don't want to do too much welding because then we'll burn our burn through the rubber transmission mounts. But at the same time, we don't want to just do a little tack. We want to make sure that we weld it enough so that when we take it off the car and do a full weld of the whole thing later, that it doesn't warp the piece so that when we try to reinstall it later. First, what we're going to do is install all the pieces on the transmission. And then we're going to tack weld each one of them individually until it fits exactly the way we want it to as the engine sits. I gotta stop right here and apologize to all of you. I had a live Instagram video where I actually showed how to tack weld all of the pieces in position as is. Um, so I don't have that information here on this YouTube video, but it's actually pretty self-explanatory and I'll try to help uh, explain it as I go throughout the rest of this video. And rest assured that mistake will not happen again and tune into YouTube for all the detailed information on each aspect of this swap, but also tune into Instagram so you can see all the latest and greatest status as it's happening. Because the engine driveline has been positioned exactly the way I want it to be so that everything lines up. So here is my mount for the transmission. To fit the N54 into the E36. I plan to do a little bit, a few more tacks and then at the very end I'll end up welding it all up um, with TIG. See how TIG works and if that doesn't work then I'll just end up going back to TIG. So now we have our transmission bracket pretty much completely welded up. Let me show you some of the welds here. I ended up making it because I ran out of gas for the TIG. But this thing is, this thing isn't going anywhere. You gotta, you gotta believe, believe me, it's not going anywhere. So, now, install. Put every bolt in loose first. And then tighten it up when everything is installed. And the two transmission mounts. Check to make sure that the transmission is still Good. Now, the point we've all been waiting for, releasing the transmission. Okay. No more transmission jack. This thing is now sitting on its own. Next is engine. So that's basically how you make a transmission mount bracket for any type of custom engine swap. If you like this video, please subscribe, tell your friends. If you guys got some value out of the content here, then I can produce more of these videos in even more detail and better cinematography and better explanation for you in the future. Um, please let me know if this is something that you want to see more of and I will produce more of it. Uh, let your friends know, subscribe, smash down that like button and that subscribe button and get notifications because I will be updating and producing new videos at least three to four times a week on this swap. I am zooming through this, guys. So thanks a lot for liking. Thanks a lot for joining in. And I will keep in touch with you later.